there are different initiatives like the IWAI or you are working on the IFVI, International Foundation for Valuing Impacts. So wow. the idea is really to um, identify and also monetize um, positive and negative impact and put this in the P&L of a company, basically. But we have the problem of standardization and how do we measure that? Here is still a bit of a vacuum. People don't know what to do, how to do, how to go to these standards. There are different standards. How do we manage to find a solution here fast? <laughs> because it yeah. has to be fast. Yeah. And uh, where are these you know, levers where we can work on what what is your opinion on that so the iwai the impact weighted accounts initiative at harvard business school which i have been privileged to chair over the last uh, three years has published thousands of companies impacts environmental and social impacts in monetary terms monica you can see from that that exxon mobil creates 39 billion dollars of damage a year from its operations versus Shell 23 and BP 13. Mm. If you're an investor, that's highly relevant to you because if a carbon tax is introduced, ExxonMobil is going to pay a lot more tax than BP. At the same time, it uh, enables investors to calculate how much ExxonMobil will have to invest in order to avoid making these emissions. And that too is going to affect its, its, its bottom line. Um, we've measured uh, employment impact in monetary terms. Now, if you look at uh, diversity, something we've never measured before. If you view diversity in the workforce as basically saying communities get remunerated through the employment of members of those communities, uh, then you can compare, and we have compared, the demographics within and outside Amazon facilities, for example, and then ascribed an average salary level to them. And you'll be surprised to hear, I know, that mm -hmm. Amazon has a $6.5 billion diversity debit versus Apple, $2.5 billion. But if you take it as a percentage of, uh, of wages, Actually, Amazon's the better performer, 16% versus 24%. And then we did the same for product impact. Some of those listening today may be in the food industry. Uh, well, you can compare General Mills' health impact, yeah. $2 billion positive impact, because General Mills is selling fiber, versus Danone's a negative health impact of... Uh, eight and a half billion dollars because it's selling mainly sugar. So you begin to get insights into the impact performance of a company alongside its profit performance. And the name of the game, as Tesla has shown, has become to optimize risk, return, and impact. Tesla would never have got its first consumers if it had just tried to enter the automobile industry with another combustion engine. The reason it got its first customers was because people were interested in an environmentally uh, conscious uh, vehicle. Uh, and uh, in a similar way, Tesla attracted its first talent and its first uh, investors because they were inspired by the company's mission. 